So let's go live to Trudy McIntosh now. Trudy, there's going to be some jobs, key jobs that need to be filled. It's going to mm. take some time. And the questions will be asked is, is 20,000 jobs and the creation of that, you know, is that enough given the total spend on this project is absolutely enormous? Well, I think the key problem here, Laura, is they can talk up this 20,000 20, jobs figure, but the question is the skills requirement that needs to underpin this and what more can be done to actually attract people to go and study things like nuclear engineering. We need a pathway of people actually studying these things in order for this to be a viable industry within the country. The more of these details you'd imagine announced by the Prime Minister tomorrow, one of the key um, skills vacancies they're going to need to really um, look at is submariners at the moment uh, because of the size of our Collins class fleet they only need about 60 crew on the Virginia class which we're said to be getting uh, the start of next decade that is a double that amount so they're going to need to find more bodies people willing to actually go and spend months at a time under the water uh, there's an, also a lot of focus is going to be on the construction jobs that are going to come as a part of the shipbuilding component of this and also the additional basing requirements we'll need here we'll take a look at some of the three areas across the country that could be the big beneficiaries out of this announcement tomorrow. One, Osborne in South Australia, they're very hopeful they're going to have that commitment honoured to actually construct these new fleet of nuclear-powered submarines uh, here in Adelaide. Then over in Perth, we know later this decade, the US said to be bringing some of its nuclear-powered submarines here. There will need to be an expansion of the base over in Perth. And then this question about what about the East Coast base? It was something promised by Scott Morrison when he was uh, Prime Minister we don't yet know which base will be selected on the East Coast. There's been some reporting that it will be Port Kembla. So a lot of uh, people watching San Diego tomorrow morning, Laura, very closely to see what's in it in terms of the local jobs here at home.